What you basically do when you kind of browse is that from either side of the screen you take your finger and then just go like that. Well hello and welcome to Jimenez and Total Nerdy channel. Today we're going to do a review of the Niagara launcher for smartphones. And I'm using an Android phone. I don't know if they offer launchers on other brands or not, but I'm going to review it on this one and uh, basically what I like with it and what I don't like it with it. But I can tell you already that I'm quite happy with my experience of the Niagara launcher and I hope you will be as well if you try it out. I've used this launcher for a year now. I've installed it to try it and I thought that I should make a review of it sometime and I just didn't stop using it because it was so much better uh, in my experience than uh, the Android Mi UI that came with my smartphone. So what makes Niagara Launcher special? Well basically it's a very minimalistic experience. You just take your finger here and then you automatically get this beautiful little alphabet and then you can browse to the app, well, the alphabet of the apps you're trying to use. And uh, you can access the alphabet from like both sides, left or right, doesn't matter. It's just really convenient. Your ordinary smartphone experience is very cluttery. This is like minimalistic. Uh, for a normal smartphone, you just have a lot of different junk on it. And I spent so much time trying to organize my smartphone um, in a way that is, you know, accessible, in a way that just is usable. So I kind of have maps with different things in and I try to tidy it up and very much like that. And frankly, I spent too much time on it. It's just a waste of time. It's, it's like I needed that kind of order of my smartphone to kind of not get crazy when I used it, but it just took too much time to organize. And the Niagara launcher is kind of a little bit draconian in that matter. You just install it and here are all your apps and they are listed in the order of the alphabet. And this you cannot change. It is as it is and you just have to learn, okay, what letter was it? Q. Quora. Look, here we have Quora. So I can just, you know, if I just do, 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 go down Quora, I click on Quora, and here is Quora. Very nice. So, like, that's that's how, how it works. It's so simple. And I use Niagara Free. Uh, there are, like, paid pro versions where we get some more features, but for one year, I've been absolutely fine with the free version. Um, I might upgrade it later, but right now it's not something that I'm really thinking about. Um, I think it's pretty decent as it is, you know. We have some extra, extra functions. Maybe I end up buying it uh, to get the pro features, but frankly, I don't know exactly what the pro features are. And uh, the free version is absolutely fine. Just try it. It's uh, it's not handicapped. There are no ads. It just works. And uh, I think there are some more better music player integration or something like that with the pro version, which might be worth trying it out. But anyways, in the Niagara Launcher, we have some different settings. We can go if we go to the bottom. We kind of get the pro section. And if you want the special, you know. We have a special list of favorites, which you can choose. So I have like Firefox and Gmail and my phone and like Signal and stuff like that here. And if I want something, I'll just browse down to whatever I want, like camera. I hold on it and then I just click favorite. And we'll just confirm. Yes, fantastic. So now we have, uh, now we have the camera as a favorite as well. Very nice. So to not make it cluttery, um, it recommends you to have eight favorites selected, but um, you can have less and you can have more, but it's just a recommendation. 
uh, but it's kind of made so that you shouldn't have everything as favorites, you know. Uh, and it gives you a couple of suggestions uh, on uh, programs or apps that you use kind of often that should probably be into uh, the favorites area. And there are some other settings as well. If we go down to the bottom, we kind of see the uh, Niagara settings. And there we have a Niagara Pro, uh, which you can look at the features that Pro offers. And they all also give you a, a free seven day trial if you want to look at it. So we have some different stuff at advanced and you can on apps uh, that you for some reason don't want to show up. Maybe it's uh, like built in uh, apps into the operating system that you cannot uninstall uh, that you don't need. You can just hold on it and click hide. And if you hide it, you don't have to see it when you just scroll through. So it's kind of useful. Um, also, if you just go in here, you can select like different icons. So I change it to a squircle and you can kind of change the, the, the icon size as well, if you like to, to something smaller like that. And well, there are some stuff you can do like that. And there we go. And then we also have different features so here we can kind of see your hidden apps or something like that you can have google search thing it also sorts uh, the apps after how much you use them even under the like letters so that under the different like a then you have a most used and a something else and a like that so it's pretty useful so you can kind of get those at the alphabet top it's a super smart feature uh, you can also search um, on your apps so that's something and now you can see that well it's now completely different you can see that my icons are so much smaller so doing that I could have like more favorites for example and when you scroll through the different apps there is also a search function so we can just write in a letter and then we can see the search results for that particular app well basically there are some different features on the Niagara launcher which you can you we can check out and see what you prefer but basically i just say try this launcher try and see how it works try and see how it feels uh, because at the end of the day it's like the user experience and the customization and stuff like that it doesn't matter very much it's just this little thing that you take your smartphone install niagara launcher free and then suddenly you don't have to sort stuff yourself it's automatically stored you'll just have to select you know five of your most used apps so you can just click on them every time you start your phone pretty useful so i'm very happy with the niagara launcher and i might upgrade it to some pro version <laughs> but uh, probably not the free version is great and uh, yeah that's that i hope to find this little you know, review useful and that you give the Niagara Launcher a try because it is a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent freeware. Like this application just saves everyone a lot of time. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you in future ones because this is your host, Jim Resen, and we're signing out by uh, getting lost in the beautiful in the beautiful alphabet sweep. Anyways, see you.